Hello, it's Thursday the 8th. I'm FX Plu and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so the UK recovery rolls on, a bit like England in the Euros. Uh, PMI data showed strong growth in manufacturing, services and construction. Uh, they're all well into the 60s, indicating sector expansion is increasing. So pressure's growing for the Bank of England to tighten monetary policy in light of rising inflation. But Governor Bailey considers the removal of government support as a risk to continued economic growth. Uh, indeed, with the furlough scheme winding down, the fear is that many firms are simply not viable anymore without the support. Bailey remains committed to supporting the recovery, so we're unlikely to see any policy change any time soon. Um, yesterday's housing data showed the market remained well into positive territory, despite the stamp duty holiday finishing at the end of June. Uh, but in the market, sterling is struggling to find a direction, which is rather suggesting the summer lull may have taken a hold. Yesterday it traded between 137.55 and 138.40 against the dollar and it's a similar story against the euro where we continue to trade sideways around 117. Um, the FOMC minutes provided no further clarity over shorter term plans. Inflation has risen more than they expected, uh, but they believe it will fall back to the 2% target range in the longer term confirmation, if needed, that they remain on team transitory. No timetable was set for tapering asset purchases, but they agreed the Fed should be positioned to react to unexpected economic developments, including a faster than expected pace of the recovery. Uh, the dollar index remains rather uninspiring, though. That drifted to a high of 92.85 yesterday as euro dollar um, slid down to close at about uh, below 118 actually uh, 11790 on the close there um, right so really the main excitement yesterday was England bravo indeed join me again tomorrow if you do not have a clue then just tweet through and ask FX blue.